what you're seeing here in our test laboratory is like a, a treadmill at your gym for motor vehicles. Uh, the driver follows a simulated road course that takes a vehicle through its paces of accelerations, decelerations, everything that a normal driver would experience during the day. And the idea is that we collect all the emissions that the vehicle produces and come up with an actual emissions factor per mile for the emissions that are being produced when in operation. Now this first came about a couple of years ago that you were seeing these discrepancies. So going into this, when you were road testing them, did you were your spidey senses already tingling? Well, a number of our partners were trying to explain why the emissions were spiking, but it took a lot of research to point the direction to where we came to today. Well, when you go out on the road with what's called a PEMS, or a Portable Emissions Monitoring System, you're actually observing emissions produced under real-world conditions. And so that was, I guess, the key in you know this whole controversy that we're seeing. When you do research out on the roadway, while not as precise as what's going on here in the lab, you do have certain levels that you expect to maintain. And when there is such a disparity between the on-road emissions or the real-world emissions and what's measured in the laboratory, it's really prudent to start investigating why that's happening. In our testing on vehicles, we do run into a lot of problems that are usually caused by explainable results. Um, parts fail, um, something doesn't last as long as it was supposed to. When it turns out that that uh, is a deliberate action, um, we're disappointed in that. Well, I think this episode has really shown the value of having both types of test systems. Here in the laboratory, we have a system that is very good for complying with laws. If you have a system out on the roadway, it's a good check or a good screening tool to find for problems, whether those be problems generated by just normal wear and tear or if it's problems that are deliberate.